Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Savold SV01 Pro. So this is a pro version of their very popular printer that has a lot of great features that typically you would upgrade but come automatic. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the SV01 Pro has a 280 by 240 by 300 millimeter uh, print bed, which is gonna be large enough for you to print some really fantastic prints. It does feature automatic bed leveling, and it also has a flexible uh, build plate. Now, from a nozzle perspective, you can expect temperatures of 260 uh, and the bed temperature all the way up to 110, which is gonna give you the ability to print some really interesting materials. Now, print speed go from 50 to 80 millimeters per second, and it does have a metal direct drive extruder. It has a four millimeter print nozzle, and it is very quiet. We were actually, when I put this together, we put it together in our kitchen, and we had it running. We were having a conversation with some family, and the only distraction was people staring at the printer as it was doing its prints. It wasn't because of the noise. Super quiet prints. It's gonna give you also the ability to print PLA, TPU, wood, and PETG. And it does feature synchronous dual Z access. So that's gonna give you really stable prints. Now for those of you gonna be running long prints and maybe not attending the printer, well, it does have a filament runout sensor. So that means that if it runs out of filament, it's gonna stop and you'll be able to recover. And if you do lose power and you're into a 12 hour print, it's gonna to recover too because it has power recovery. Now, one of the things I'll highlight about this printer is that it does take a very long time to start up. Uh, the heating process for both the bed and then also for the nozzle is probably one of the longest that I've found um, on any printer. It does take several minutes to start up. Now, once it does start though, uh, the printing is relatively comparable to a lot of the printers we've seen on the market. Now here, what you're gonna see is the first step is to uh, do the bed leveling. So it's gonna go through the probe. It's gonna check and see uh, where things land as far as the bed leveling goes. And then you'll do the very first purge line, as you can see there. Now we mentioned that the printer was also very, very quiet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up a meter. There is some white noise um, here that you know is just gonna be present, but we'll get a sense of how quiet this printer is. And I just wanna give you a sense, you know, outside of just the overall movement, I'm gonna stay quiet and I'm gonna bring into frame, um, you know, just a sound meter that's on my phone so you can hear. Isn't that crazy? So great, uh, super quiet printer. Now, as you mentioned, the printer does feature a direct drive metal extruder, which is really, in my opinion, gonna cut out a lot of the headaches that you have with traditional printers. And it's also gonna open up a whole host of materials that you'll be able to print, as we mentioned, as we looked at the specs. Now, the printer does have a flexible build plate, but this is not really a PEI sheet. Highly recommend that you upgrade this at a later date. Um, all you have to do is buy one that fits the size of this printer and then because it already has a magnetic uh, sheet here It's just gonna stick and I like the fact that with the uh, PEI sheets You'll be able to have a rough surface and then flip it over and have a smooth surface depending on the material that you're printing I typically like for TPU for example where I want it to be smooth on the bottom I print on the smooth side versus on the, the side that's coarse like this now the adjustment knobs are easy but something that you won't have to worry about and you do have two adjustment points here and right here that are going to allow you to you know adjust any kind of tension uh, that you need to because of uh, print quality and i like that there's no tools required now at the top of the printer you can see your filament sensor here so the great thing about this is that if you do run long prints uh, something that's probably going to be running while you're asleep you don't want to wake up in the morning and find that the printer fails your print because you've run out of filament so keeping it uh, you know, fished through the sensors going to ensure that in the event that you run out, you won't lose your print. Now loading your prints is going to be uh, through here. Uh, so you have a micro SD that you'll be able to load. Uh, on the side here, you do have your UI for navigation. So this is your touchscreen. It happens to be one of the most colorful touchscreens that I've seen, uh, at least from a UI perspective. We're going to take a closer look at that next. As you see, the UI is uh, pretty visual. So you basically have on the top how much time it's gonna take to print the object that we're printing and we're printing an XY cube. And also what you can see here is you have your stop and your pause, your temperature, both of your nozzle and your bed, as well as um, you know, the speed of the printer, as well as how much you have to go in this print. Now you also have some, the ability to, to adjust some other areas of the print. So on demand or as you're printing, the cool thing is 
You want to be able to change the temperature because you're seeing some issues with your print. You want to maybe change um, some temperature on your bed because maybe something is not sticking as you'd like. Or you'd want to adjust the print speed, fan, change the filament. You know, all these things are easily accessible during the print. So this is going to give you a lot of flexibility again, uh, trying to make sure that that print is successful. Now in the back of the printer, you'll see the dual Z's access that's going to ensure that uh, once again, everything remains level, and also it's going to give you some great stability when it comes to printing tall prints. Now, the printer did perform relatively well when it came to printing. I did have some small issues, and I'll show you what I found. So first of all, uh, this is what we printed. We wanted to see something that would be large and see how well it did. And we wanted something that was going to run several hours. I wanted to see if there's any overheating issues with the printer, uh, if there was any failures. And so we printed out this rocket, and overall, the rocket came out really, really nice. You can see how that looks right there. And the first layer was, was not bad. I'll show you that I did run into a few defects. So this layer looks good with the exception of what I saw right here and then also what I saw right here, right? But the print did survive, right? It did a good job. Now from an XY cube, let me just show you one right here and we'll uh, get, in this, get this into focus. Uh, what you can see here is the XY cube. It came out nice as well. This um, is a good XY cube. It stayed within tolerance. I didn't really find much variation when it came from each one of the sides. So it did a really nice job when it came to this test print. And actually that's what we're printing again. Now the filament that we're using uh, and this specific print is from Filamentum. You can see uh, this one right here. So this is a really nice blue. And then I also have this green, right? So we tried uh, printing a dragon on this guy too. And we did have some success and some failures. We're gonna go ahead and step into camera for a second. And you can see, uh, here's my dragon. I think I have some calibration and some testing that I'm gonna have to do because yeah, there's something is missing from the dragon. I'm missing half of it. Uh, overall, if we look at all the other pieces of the dragon came up pretty nice. Um, all the pieces, this is a print in place uh, print. Uh, they work, but there were just pieces that just didn't connect, right? So that was um, really using out-of-the-box calibration settings. So I think I got some cal calibration to do to get this to print just right. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.